Hey everybody, how you doing? Jay Yudlovsky here. So over the last few months I've been getting a lot of uh, questions about enlarging images and how to do it and people um, sending me different images to see you know, if we can blow them up to make them the size that they want. Um, so I thought I'd make another quick video here on how to uh, enlarge another image and um, just so you guys can see how, how I did it here. So uh, for example this file I got from uh, a person who wanted to blow this up to make it big enough to print as a um, like a uh, like a poster I guess um, so she gave me the dimensions and uh, sent me a PDF file and I noticed as I opened up the PDF file in Photoshop here one nice thing is that it's a, actually was a, a a smart object so if I were to double click on here you can see it'll open up all the uh, all the layers and everything is already there which actually helps us out a lot when we're trying to enlarge an image uh, because by enlarging a smart object everything keeps its uh, its resolution keeps its quality as you as you blow it up. So here's what I would do here. Um, so right now you can see it's eight inches by uh, about twelve inches or so. And the dimensions that I got that were needed for this were two hundred and two centimeters by three hundred and twenty seven centimeters. So to do that, the first thing I'm going to do is just come and hover over the the ruler bar. I'm going to right click and change it to centimeters, so I can be at least in the same units. So here you can see it's only 20 centimeters. So next I'm going to go up to image, image size. And then what I want to do is plug in what size I want it here. So here I want it to be 202 centimeters. And then down here I want 327 centimeters. And then the, the minimum resolution that they needed in order to be able to print it this size was 120. So I'll just leave that at 120 right now. I'm going to say preserve details for enlargement. And here I'm going to jack the noise reduction up pretty high. I'm going to pull that up um, just to prevent any fuzziness. Or I don't know if you can see it on the video here, but it's a little, little fuzzy. You can see mixed colors in there. So just by pulling up the noise reduction, it kind of gets rid of all that. Okay, so I'll just pull it up to 85 here and leave it at that. And then I'll just go ahead and hit OK. And I'm just going to say continue. We'll let the machine think for a minute here. And because it's a smart object, like I said earlier, we're going to get um, a great quality enlargement. Here. Okay, so you can see it blew it way up, so I'm going to hit Command-0 to zoom all the way out. And here you can see we have our 202 centimeters and 327 centimeters on the bottom here. The next thing I'm going to do is export it as a JPEG, which we can then send out to get printed. So I'm going to do File Export, Export As. And I'm going to change over here under File Settings, change that to JPEG. And I'm just going to leave everything else the same. I'm not going to touch any of that. And then uh, I'll come down here and just hit Export. It's going to ask me where to save it. I'm going to say the Desktop, Export. And I'll minimize Photoshop here. And out on the desktop, here's our image right here. And that's what I'll send out for print. So I hope this video helped everybody out and just showed you how I would enlarge uh, this particular image. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And uh, thanks for watching.